Hi, I'm Rob from Popzine.com. Thanks for joining me for another video beer review. But joined by Adam from Adam's Craft Beer Channel and Stuart from the Ginger Ale Trail. And we've got a bottle of Crooked Stave from Colorado. It's a bottle of their Origins, which is a Burgundy Sour Ale aged in oak barrels. 6.5% ABV. Pick this up at um, Top Boys and Leeds. Looks incredible. It's quick, quick as they do some incredible beer. I've not had a Flemish red from them, so I'm really excited to try this. So, beer in the glass. Dark, kind of like crimson, mahogany yeah, type. Of I, I, I like how Rob's got a little bit more heaviness on his uh, paw than I have, but what? that's Rob dashing all over. What do you mean? <laughs> One thing I do have to say though, that the. You can see the quality, you know, when you when you when you do rocket back and forth. You can you see the combinations of the slow bubbles, and it, it does represent quality, don't yeah. it? You know, you, you know what it is. Not much combination, um, but you mean it's an okay base. Yeah. So I'm not expecting to come down for combination. Now I'm looking at the bottle and the labeling design, and it just reminds me of the instruction manual of uh, when I used to construct furniture and stuff like that in the olden days. And it's literally old in it the 1840s. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not old. So, let's check out the armor. Ooh, nice. Ooh, definitely, yeah. a, definitely a fun effect. Plenty of oak on that one. Plenty of oak. Lots of cherry. It's not too uber sour either. No, it's, no, not, no. it's not kind of like um, Rover Back Grand Crew kind of like. Yeah, it's, it, sour, yeah, but you get it's a lot. Of, I was just going to say that. It reminds me of a lot of Rover Yeah. Back yeah. Back. A lot of um, kind of. Cherry, yeah, all absolutely. kind of cherry. Awesome. I've not had that many uh, Flemish yeah, friends. I've had some Mills, surprisingly enough. But... The only Flemish friends I've had is probably probably the Grodenbach. Mm, yeah. It's similar, it's very similar. Cranberry. Yeah, cranberry, cranberry. dark berries. Pomegranate. <laughs> hey! hey. Pomegranate. That's a, that's a, that's a craft. Um, craft. 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 Pomegranate. Extra pop, right? <laughs> Pomzine. <laughs> I get it's, a little bit of parsley. Like parsley. <laughs> parsley. <laughs> Just a touch. Mm. Maybe it's not parsley, maybe it's maybe it's or something. Well no, it's Some just sort of herb, anyway. woodworks. It might be cut plastic. Cut plastic? Plastic. Yeah, I used to cut plastic all the time on the woodworks. There's, for me it's a lot of um, specs. Yeah. Perspex. Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah. The heat that you generate by yes. the right soil. Perspex. You know this? Uh, I do. Oh, that's cool. But, um, yeah, it's not uber sour. It's got a no. nice amount of sourness. So, hidden towards that balsamic. But for me, it's more kind of berries, cranberry, red currant. It's all, all around. It's, it's hanging around that kind of neighborhood. Cherry, maybe a bit of um, raspberry. It's. You see, for me, it's a very welcoming case. Okay, it's not kind of I think but... it's going to like turn the taste buds inside out, but I'm really interested to try it. Yeah. Find out. Cheers. Mm. 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 As soon as it is. Oh, yeah, yeah definitely. Oh, how great. Oh, whoa. Whoa. It's not vinegar. Not vinegar. Whoa. It's Woody on the back end. Mm. Yeah, definitely wood. Red, red, the other red lace sweets look them like red. Yes, it's like, it reminds me of them. Two laces. Two laces, yeah, it reminds me, it reminds me of them. Oh, it's got red licorice. There you mm. go. Red licorice, big It's got an almost creamy sort of edge to it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Tartness, sweetness, but sharpness of raspberries for me. Fruit Fr 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 cake or Vice TK? Yeah, <laughs> marzipan. Marzipan. Um, definitely. Yeah. Um, marzipan, kind of like a. Yeah, Mazapan's big time. Definitely yeah. toasted red currant tea cakes. Mm. Bound cakes. Exactly, yeah, but tea cakes, definitely. <laughs> tea it's finger, it's, it's, um, it's like a lot more. Bacon on tart, there's a bit of bacon on tart. Yeah, oh, definitely bacon on tart. Oh, yeah, full on. Look at these cherries. Mm. Mm. It's not bad. Now, how much should you pay for this, Rob? I'd like to prefer this today. Beautiful. <laughs> it wasn't cheap. Yeah, and does it taste cheap? It does. It might. It don't taste cheap. You cheeky fucker. <laughs> <laughs> I think. I mean, this is a, a bit. No, I mean, compared to sort of like today, but it's like. Uh, no, I think this is like. This is. It's good. good uh, if you if you're looking at something like. But it doesn't taste like it's supposed to value what you taste. I think it does. I like the it is. I, I love, I love well. the aftertaste, the, the, the creamy kind of like aftertaste of Brandenburg thing that you picked up the Mars. Yeah. 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 Perfect. 
on, on the fog, because uh, you can get jam, you get marzipan, you get sponge, you get mm. toy, you get all that, you get a little bit of colouring. Man, bad boy. Bad boy, yeah. Stuff, yeah. stuff, I really like it. I, mean, yeah, it's not I as, like that, definitely. It's not I'm a big boy. It's not because I, I like the, 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 the aftertaste more than the Grand Cru that we were kind of yeah. comparing it to. Yeah, I yeah. kind of like that because yeah. it gives it that sort of almost rounded sort of sweet. more fruity, I would say. It's still really nice, though. I think it's a great volume. Vanilla stuff. Yeah. Vanilla, vanilla, vanilla. I'm a big fan of Crooked Stay. I think they do some incredible stuff. It's the first time I've had something that from them which isn't pale. It's usually kind of Saison or kind of Brett beers. I think they've done an absolutely stellar job with that. So that's a bottle of Crooked Stays from um, Colorado, their origin. Burgundy. Clean out of the Aged label. in um, <laughs> um, barrels. I don't think they commissioned them to do the label, but you never know. Yeah. <laughs> 6.5% ABV. I think that's absolutely top draw stuff. It is really good beer. It is definitely a really good beer. I'm just glad I didn't pay for it. <laughs> See you next time. Cheers. <laughs>